So DeFi is pretty hot right now, as are NFTs, as is most of crypto. But um, this actually started, uh, Rob started developing this in January 2020. So I, I dropped a link in the chat uh, that's kind of like an intro tweet. Um, but so introducing it, uh, it, it started in January 2020. And Rob was even talking about this in uh, ETH Waterloo and uh, long before that. So, uh, you know, in 2019. So even though these things are hot right now, this is uh, we've been kind of stewing on these ideas or Rob has for a very long time over ideas, ideas or Rob has. So for a very long time uh, over ideas Rob and or Rob I met uh, in the Gitcoin kernel program. So um, I'm not sure if anybody is familiar with that, but they're launching another kernel program in January. Highly recommended. Um, I know this isn't a shell for Gitcoin, but everything they're doing in the space, uh, this is a group of Web3 builders, developers, uh, people that are interested in the space. So highly recommended. I'll drop the link to that. In the but Rob and I met in there and decided, you know, that Charge Particles has a, a lot of value and it makes a lot of sense to put more time into something like this. So what do we do? We say fusing DeFi plus NFTs, uh, but really with the charge particle protocol, you're able to turn a normal, a standard NFT, non-fungible token into a yield generating investment. So this allows you to deposit a, an asset, an ERC-20 token into a, an NFT. So basically it, the NFT owns or holds this ERC-20. And if you deposit certain assets, so in the first version, we'll limit to certain types of ERC-20s. These are automatically converted to the Aave yield bearing equivalent. So for instance, if you, you create a piece of NFT artwork, then you can deposit a hundred die into this artwork. It's swapped automatically for a die. So Aave's uh, yield bearing die equivalent. And then the really magical thing is what you can do with this charge. So this interest that's accruing on this 100 ADI uh, is completely programmable. So it can come back to the creator. So you think artist royalties, it can go to a charity. It can always go to the owner of that NFT. You can, you can determine. Think we lost you there for a second? Yeah, did we lose Ben? Uh oh, I disconnected. No, you're, no, you're good. You're back. <laughs> there we are. Um, yeah, so we think this creates a new token mechanic uh, available with NFTs, um, and eventually the plan is to be NFT and interest-bearing asset agnostic. Uh, but for the first like proof of concept that we're launching here in the next couple weeks. Uh, we will be only including Aave A tokens. So all of the A tokens that are available on the Aave platform, and then uh, only via NFTs that are created via our own minting uh, station on Charge Particles. So that's that's kind of an overview of who, well, uh, who the project is. So me personally, I have a background in finance and then have been in crypto since 2017. Uh, Rob, I'll kick it over to you for a brief background. Uh, um, I've been in fintech for, I've been a friend developer um, for 20 plus years. Um, I've been in fintech for uh, over five years. Uh, I've been into Solidity itself, developing for over three years. Uh, I recently joined Pool Together and helped them launch uh, V3, um, but immediately after we launched V3, I left Pool Together to pursue Charged Particles full time. Um, so that's my my run up to where we are now. Um, I'm the lead developer uh, and founder of Charged Particles, and um, yeah, I'm just hammering on it for the last year in my spare time. Uh, until very recently, I've been able to go full time on the project and. Uh, you know, get it to where we're at now. We're we're very close to uh to you know launching uh, a soft launch uh, very soon. Um, obviously, what you see on the screen right now is a work in progress. It's not all of the pieces uh, put together, um, but it, it gives a, a quick little uh, a rough overview.
Sorry, I keep getting a phone call. Um, seems important. That one, that one seems important, Rob. <laughs> that is a terrible <laughs> ringer, Rob. <laughs> That's wife. That one's always important. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, so I'm a, like I just said, I have, I'm a husband and I have uh, three children, um, three cats, a dog, three snakes, uh, big house, big lots on the go. So my, my spare time wasn't, uh, you know, a lot so it, it did take a while to get to the point we're at now but um i think we're, we're really far along um, we've had great community feedback so um we're just excited to get it into the hands of, of the community and, and especially artists who uh i personally think you know having a speculative value art i mean you can only there's only good things when you can add intrinsic value plus interest value to that art as well um, and then the, the art always grows with value we also have a royalties um piece where artists can earn royalties uh for the life of their token um well, there's a lot of things going but in terms of my background yeah sorry kind of off topic um yeah that's me i'm just uh just a humble developer building away nice nice okay so um everything is kind of coming to a head for 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 the project because defy's been on fire uh nft have recently caught uh, a crazy crazy um you know interest uh mainstream hype so you know how does that feel and 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 how do you see it affecting your project in the short term because you you've known the long-term vision for for a while now yeah um go ahead ben actually. yeah i'd say i'd say for the short term it's just um worried about being lost in the noise right there's a lot of projects there's a lot of cool projects there's a lot of projects that are doing a lot of, you know, flash in the pan sort of uh, sort of thing. So this is something we've been working on for a while that we're really excited about that we think could add a lot of value. Um, this is, you know, it's a protocol layer uh, product. So we'll come out with our own minting station, charging station, as, as, as you can see from Rob's station uh, screen share. But the idea is that eventually that this could be integrated in a number of other platforms and be more of a base layer pro protocol that we get really excited about. So um, I think the hype certainly helps uh, in that there's a lot more eyes on the space, but that's also its its biggest challenge. There's a lot of eyes, so there's a lot of things being developed. So a easy chance of being kind of lost in the shuffle. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Give, um... Yeah, we're, we're less of a game for people to play and more of a, a an avenue for for um, creators uh, to to increase the value of their their creations, uh, whether it be game items. Um, for example, imagine you have a, a token. It's a it's a sword in a video game um, or a pair of boots or a shield or something like that. Um, and you come over and you charge that token up uh, here. And now that that token's the charge token, um, if the game is integrated with charged particles, um, then they could add extra token mechanics to that uh, to that item that you've that you're using in the game. Uh, so, for example, if it's a sword and there's um, you know a month's worth of interest earned on that sword, well, maybe that sword is more powerful in the game now because it's built up a charge. Uh, and the more charge it has, the more powerful it becomes. Um, and perhaps, you know, in the future, if games take on these extra token mechanics, you can, I, I can see games eliminating the whole pay to win mechanic of, of buying legendary items and just winning all the time. Um, whereas now it kind of levels the playing field and gives common items the ability to charge up and, and get just as powerful as a legendary item and compete on the same scale. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of things that we're trying to, to bring to it in the terms of a token mechanic, but what we do need to capture is third-party integrations um, and stuff like that. So it's not like, like Brent said, it's not so flashy in terms of people who want to play games and kind of jump in on that. It's, it's more of a, an avenue for creators and developers. Okay, okay. Um, and um, I would wish that, that a few people can ask some questions because it kind of, uh, it encompasses a lot of what everyone here is doing. Uh, with with art and gaming and gaming uh items um you know um and especially because we're also on roll 
Uh, we're a roll token as well. Uh, well, and and your 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 token is on on roll. So, is there any kind of or do you see any type of social social aspects uh, that you would like well, in, incorporated? <clears throat> That's it's good that you brought that up. So we have a roll social token as well. Uh, it's called Charge, um, and we're just using that token primarily as a community loot token. Uh, it has no actual intrinsic value to it, and it has no utility in the system. It was more of a community token before launch. Um, and I know Roll uh, has a, a time lock release for 10 million, um, but we're only actually giving out 1 million of those tokens. Um, and at the 1 million, that's our hard cap. Um, and that's all that's going to be distributed. Um, but whoever holds charged tokens, um, we're actually releasing a governance token for, for the platform. It's going to be called ION. And uh, the initial distribution of ION will be going to charge holders. So we'll snapshot all of the people who hold charge and they're going to get the initial distribution of ION tokens. Uh, and that ION token is our, is our governance platform token. Um, so there is a, a reward in a sense for the charge holders in being an early community member and holding the charge tokens. But um, currently we have no other real utility. Uh, but we are open to ideas uh, and from the community and everything like that. And we're, they're going to continue to exist. But again, they're just going to continue to exist as a more of a community loop token. Um, not necessarily intrinsically tied to the platform at all. Um, I, I One of the things I admire about you guys is that you've been building kind of uh, in the background, just getting things done and, and really fleshing it out before, you know, big marketing push, before a sale, before, you know what I mean? Um, like... I've been collecting charge, you know, since day one or whatever, because uh, I've been interested in the project for so long. Yep. And um, so now that there's only going to be one million, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of something we really, yeah, we haven't really explained that to the community very well. Uh, and like you said, we've, we have been just quietly developing. We're not really trying to push the marketing aspect of it all yet. Um, and primarily that's because we're trying to create something for the community. We're not trying to create an ICO. We're not trying to create a token sale. There will be no token sale. You're going to have to earn the token through liquidity mining, um, stuff like that, right? Like we're, we're trying to create a, a community platform project that will last. And uh, in order to do that, I think we have to do it fair with the community in mind. And that's what we're aiming to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I encourage people to to join the Discord. I'll, I'll pop it in there one more time uh, because uh, you know I, I I really I'm interested in, in, in seeing this marriage between NFTs and DeFi kind of really work work. You know what I mean? There's a lot of ideas out there and 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 things that are kind of you know working, but nothing really implemented to the point where everyone in 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 DeFi and NFTs is taking advantage of it. So. And, and this is, I, I mean, with the community aspect, we're we're looking for artists to create NFTs on the Charge Particle platform that can be charged up. So we'll showcase these. Um, you know, these will be some of the NFTs that are that are available to deposit assets to, and then we're going to incentivize the depositing of assets by. Um, our, our governance token when we launch that. So, I mean, I, I, we put out a call for artists a couple weeks ago, but the idea is to work with um, artists within the community and really showcase showcase their artwork. I mean, it's cool stuff. So make it unique in that people can deposit assets into it, earn a little yield, and you could be the the artist that's created that that piece. Okay. I have so a there's a, there's a there's an art channel in our uh, Discord that people can join and ask questions about that. Excellent. Um, always excited about a new avenue, a new marketplace, a new way to, to showcase your work. So that's excellent news. One thing that's nice about Charged Particles is that you're not locked to our platform in any way. The NFT holds the assets completely, and whoever owns the NFT has 100% control. Um, so if you take your NFT and sold it on OpenSea, that's up to you. It's not tied to our platform at all. Um, that being said, there's a lot of third-party marketplaces you could utilize. And one of our ideas, one of my ideas that I would like to see done in the, in the very beginning um, would be like an NFT auction where half of the bidding, half of the winning bid goes into the NFT itself, uh, something like that. So if people have ideas around that. Uh, we would definitely love to collaborate and, and discuss ideas. I know there's um, an auction mechanism on Super Rare, I think it is, or Rareable, or one of those. Um, yeah, be an interesting integration anyway, uh, that idea. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, already you're blowing people's minds with with the possibilities here. Um, I have a question for from Lond. Uh, I don't know if uh, maybe you touched on it, but he says, uh, so how does the rev share and charging work? Is it together in a mix or match? And can people add additional charge to an NFT over time? Yep. Um, so when you bring in an NFT here, for example, if you see the screen, um, you, you can choose any asset you want that would be in the list to charge it up. You can choose multiple assets. You can deposit multiple assets. You can deposit multiple times. Um, the, it is very configurable. So depending on the NFT creator or perhaps the NFT contract, they can set configuration options um, that might set min and max deposits. Um, maybe it's fully open and you can deposit a billion dollars into your NFT. Um, it's, it's all very configurable. Um, but at the same time, you know, if you sold that NFT, the second owner might deposit more money into it. Um, the third owner might deposit more money into it. Uh, the owner of the NFT can discharge the interest at any time. Um, you can also destroy the token to release all of the assets. But again, this is configurable. You don't have to destroy the token to release all of the assets. That might be an option on certain NFTs. Um, some NFTs, for example, like art, it might be beneficial to keep the, the principal assets in the NFT until the NFT is destroyed. Only then can you get the assets out. But the interest would always be dischargeable. You could always take the interest. Um, you could battle over the interest, perhaps. I mean, you can. Uh, the, the contracts allow approving um, other people to operate on your behalf for the interest or for the releasing. You can time lock a particle, so you can time lock the release, or you can time lock the discharge, um, which lends to loaning an NFT over a certain period of time, knowing that it can't be discharged or released over that period of time. Um, like. It's, it's very configurable uh, and we've designed the system in, in ways to allow, like I said, either the contract and the NFT contract creator to set certain rules or even the NFT creator, the person who minted that NFT can, can choose to set certain um, rules on royalties. Uh, for example, you might want to enable creator royalties, um, which then you could decide, <clears throat> I want 17% of all of the interest that this particle generates. Um, and as the creator, you'll always receive a portion of the interest, no matter who owns that particle over time. Um, so there are options like that. Uh, that page just doesn't look the prettiest. This is all in development, and a lot of this is not uh, up to date with our latest code base. So uh, don't awesome. judge us. So, uh, you mentioned, you mentioned, I have to go back to it because we have a lot of gamers here that like to shoot each other and, and, and all that good stuff. So battling for, and if, battling for interest, right? Um, so basically, you know, me and you shoot each other, I get a headshot, I can possibly gain your interest on your NFT if that was not somehow programmed into the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So when you start the game, you might say, you know, okay, I'm going to use this gun and it has this much uh, interest and I'm going to approve this game to discharge my interest if I lose. Um, and then the game would have that right to discharge your token's interest if you lost and then assign it to the winner. Um, yeah, that that's all programmable. It's up to the uh, those game creators, right, and how they integrate the the charge tokens. Um, and then you might have that 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 gambling side where I've got a common gun and you've got a really powerful gun, but you don't know if my gun is really powerfully charged up or not. So if you do beat me, there's a lot of interest to be earned, but you might not beat me because there's a lot of interest on my gun, a lot of charge to my gun, kind of thing or whatever, right? Like. It, it, I think the token mechanic alone adds a lot of uh, a lot of cool features to games. That that is something you know, like when you put it in terms like that, because yeah, you can explain it the you know in the beginning where uh, it was a lot of technical terms and, uh, and and stuff. But when you put it in in layman's terms, to you know, you, you say gun and shoot and earn, people start <laughs> <laughs> people start yeah. understanding the possibilities of this. Yeah, like the uh, one idea I had that, that took off, uh, like I'm a developer, so I'm sorry for my jargon. A lot of it's very technical, um, but a good uh, another good way of looking at it is like a, a Babe Ruth rookie card by itself has speculative value, but imagine the same Babe Ruth rookie card, um, you know, with $100 in it, earning interest since 1916, uh, compound interest since 1916. Uh, like a Babe Ruth rookie card is worth about $300,000. Um, but the compound interest could be worth way more over the course of a hundred years. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'd like to battle you for that. <laughs> <laughs> right away. Um, <laughs> another good question. Um, what is the requirements for artists to join the platform and make art there? None. You got art, you want to mint an NFT, do so. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, now is now is the chance, right? Because uh, the platform is brand new or taking shape. So, well, it's it's not live yet, though. Uh, as soon as it does go live, is the chance. But yes, right. I mean, but now is a chance to get your foot in the door, get yourself known with the project and the team, so that way you'll you'll be a staple. We are we are looking for early artists and early NF, you know art NFTs. They don't have to be NFTs yet. Just even just digital art or real art with a like photograph. Um, stuff that we can we can highlight and showcase right when we launch. So we are looking for that from artists early. Um, so if you do want to reach out to us in the Discord on the art channel, um, and, and just you know showcase some of your art to us and, and you know join the community, be uh, you know active in the community and, and get noticed by us, and, and we'll definitely feature your art when we launch. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of people here with uh, a bunch of great ideas right off after, right right from this project. Uh, whale, right? Uh, we're also a role token. Um, so many, so many things have spun off and then become their own communities, games, and other social tokens. That I really hope that some of those uh, brilliant minds kind of migrate over to your Discord and, and and start exploring the possibilities of what can be done with the charge token or just with your platform in general. Um, I well, really think that that once the minting platform is done and and all that, and once people understand that. Uh, these NFTs are interest-bearing. Uh, it should start clicking for people. I mean, it clicked for me right away because I was just I just saw it and, and it kind of you know it just kind of made sense with with. There's not many projects like that, so it, it's new. It's still unique. Uh, there might be a few things that are a little similar, but um, you know the 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 way that you guys are kind of going about things is really really cool. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, if you've been taking ideas from the community and kind of building it out uh, with with good recommendations, what has been maybe one of the the ideas that you most like liked, or maybe you even gone ahead and started building? Oh, so, um, not we haven't really. We have a lot of there's a lot of ideas, but we don't really of all the like, there's so many ideas, but we don't want to we don't plan to build any of the actual ideas out. Uh, other than at first this minting station, right? We, we're trying to build it as a protocol and get uh, other people excited and building on top of it or even existing platforms to build on top of it. Um, I mean, if if CryptoKitties, if everybody starts bringing their CryptoKitties and charging them up, then maybe CryptoKitties, the company itself, Dapper Labs might see a value in, in having a direct integration where they could earn a, you know, a small percentage of the, of the revenues as well. Um, so, we have ideas. We have a lot of ideas for apps that we can build on top of the platform. Um, but I, I like to, to see a lot of the ideas come from the community. You know, and I like to see a lot of the, of the community build um, cool ideas. I think one of my favorite ideas was, was that I've heard from somebody that wasn't entirely fleshed out, but um, it inspired an idea in, in me is the idea of um, having real physical land that you own uh, attached to an NFT. And then the NFT holds a deposit amount so that the interest earned over the course of the year pays for the land tax. And now if I were to sell my land to somebody else, they also get the NFT. And now if there's $10,000 in that NFT and it earns $1,000 per year in interest and that covers the land tax, then they get the land, they get the NFT, and they never have to pay for land tax. The NFT would just cover it, right? Um, ideas like that that just really kind of bring the, the physical tying into the to the virtual. I, I really like those ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, those are the, kind of those mind-bending ideas that was like, wow, why didn't anyone think of this before? I mean, <laughs> um, let me see. We have another question uh, from Paul. Do you worry that this will cause an issue with value in crypto art in the future, considering that any piece could now become extremely valuable with the assets behind it? Uh, if I can go ahead and maybe, I mean, we would hope so, right? Like <laughs> that now that, that there's an asset behind it, that it, it becomes even more valuable. But um, I, th I yeah. think to answer that, I think it's the same way. Um, 
ethically as, as Bitcoin itself. I mean, yeah, there's going to be bad actors that use the system and maybe bad people are going to use it for in, in bad ways, but that's not up to us to stop or enforce. I mean, we're just trying to create a, a, an enable a platform and wherever it goes, it goes. If we're adding a token mechanic that's capable of being added and whether we add it or not, somebody else in the future will. Um, I think it's just, it's a natural progression forward. It's an avenue we're going to have to explore as a community and, and that's what we're doing. We're just going to jump in as a community and explore and see where it goes. Uh, this is the way of the blockchain, right? It, it kind of evolves yeah. on its own, even without too much push. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Lange has a question about minting cost. Uh, um, are you afraid that uh, minting can be too costly for, for a new artist? Um, or if, if, if you've done some experimentation, do you like... Uh, does charging an NFT uh, require a lot of data on the blockchain or or have you kind of uh, compressed that a bit? There are gas costs associated and it all depends on the liquidity provider ultimately. I mean, we've done our best to keep our gas costs really simple and slimline and very small. Um, but then once your assets <clears throat> get transferred over to the liquidity provider like Aave and starts going through their smart contracts, well, we're, we're really subject to the, the gas costs of that on that end as well. Um, so when you do energize a token, uh, there's a, the gas costs from charged particles, but there's also the gas costs from the liquidity provider like Aave. Um, Aave, we have integrated with Aave V2 as well as V1. Um, and hopefully Aave V2 launches um, very soon and uh, they have a lot of gas savings with their contracts as well so theoretically the gas costs in energizing a, a particle should be you know, relatively low quite low um, but that's all dependent on the gas costs on the main ethereum network right um, and that's well, ETH, eth 2 is here baby ETH 2 is here <laughs> and we're going live so let's see let's see what happens and, and hopefully everything just gets even cheaper for us, yeah, yeah that's one of the things we're trying to implement too is we we do have relayers um we are trying to implement so we can have um you know gas station network relayers that could potentially pay gas for people um we probably won't do that in the beginning but that option is there for third parties to integrate with that um there is also we're also definitely looking at l2 solutions um but we have to move along with the liquidity providers um so we're really tied to, you know, who we who we have for liquidity providers and what they're doing for too. Okay, okay. And um, us being whale and having our own token, I guess we have to ask, you know, would would it be possible to charge an NFT or or, or you know a piece with with uh, an outside token? Like, can it, can we provide enough whale maybe to to charge up, or how would that work, or is it possible? So the idea is with that. Sure, you can deposit an asset into an NFT, um, but it won't generate a charge for the, the NFT unless that asset itself generates interest. So if you deposited whale into um, an NFT, the NFT could hold the whale token, um, but we have no, I mean, we, we don't have any mechanism to, to, we're not attached to oracles, so we don't track pricing. So we would never know when you deposited the whale, how much it was worth and how much it grew over time. All we're tracking is interest accrual. Um, so if, you're, if your token that you've deposited doesn't earn interest, then it's not going to generate a charge for the particle. It'll, it'll just be a part of the mass, I guess, if you want to call it part of the mass of the particle. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I knew that. I was just asking for the audience. <laughs> no, uh, that was a great question. Um, and we do want to uh, open it up. So, yeah, like uh, an NFT could essentially be just a storage box for any type of asset. Um, absolutely. True. True. Uh, Paul Paul had a great point that it would add value to whale. The more whale is locked up into these NFTs, so uh, that's a positive positive thing for, for the token in general. So that is, that is pretty cool. Um, yeah. And in, in integrations and stuff like that that you guys can come up with, we'll uh, definitely love to chat more about that kind of stuff. So let's, let's put it together. Um, uh, if you can explain, well, I mean, I'm familiar with Ave, but but what exactly, um, you know, what what is it that enables the interest generating in, in, in some basic stuff, you know? Like, like really basic level, the idea of any money market is um, a whole bunch of people 
lend money to this money market. Now this money market has a lot of money. It's called a pool of money. And now other people who want to borrow money can come to this pool of money and borrow money. But when they borrow money, they're paying interest. Like maybe they're paying 9% interest when they pay back that, that loan, right? And then the people who lent the money, they're getting 8% of that interest. So it's really just, it's all it is is borrowing and lending. Um, and there's a big pool of money that, that's how banks operate. It's the same as a bank. A bank has a big pool of money. They have to lend it out at a higher interest rate than they give you for, you know, your savings account. Um, essentially, these money markets on, on the blockchain, they, there's no middleman taking the huge cut. Like a bank might charge you 19% to borrow money. And then if you have a savings account, they might give you 0.1%. And they're pocketing the difference of 19 point or 18.99% or whatever, right? Um, whereas with somebody like Aave or Compound, you know, to borrow, you might be paying 9% interest on what you've borrowed. Uh, but the people lending to the pool are getting 8% and Aave is taking a small 1%. Um, not to be, not that that's exact, but that's generally how it works is, you know, people who borrow pay higher interest than the people who lend receive that interest. Okay, okay. So there you have it, folks. If you didn't know a little bit about Aave, uh, it's a lending, banking type platform. I mean, I'm not doing it any justice, but Rob did a very good job at a basic level explanation of that. By putting, um, our, by, by depositing your money into an NFT, the NFT did, transfers it to Aave, and you're putting your money into a pool and allowing other people to borrow that money. When they borrow that money, they're paying a higher interest, and you're getting that interest that they're paying back with essentially awesome uh another question are you going to implement balancer into it uh it's yeah we're, we're looking at all different kinds all different kinds of DeFi tokens um so you know we want to launch with one just to keep things moving fast and get out there and get it you know uh launched you know, we don't want to wait for the development of 10 different protocols uh, but we do have on our on our on our list of protocols to to integrate with, uh, you know, Balancer, M Stable, Compound, as many as you can think of. But we have to find a way to integrate with them uh, safely and securely for for our uh, you know for our users and stuff like that. Um, so we do have to vet the uh, liquidity providers that we're going to add before we add them. Uh, eventually, you know, this should be a community governance driven uh, thing. Understood. Understood cool uh, so you said you, you're you're working on this full-time it's you ben um is there a few other people on the team yeah we actually hired a, a new front-end developer who's helping me with front-end development and we hired a solidity engineer that's helping with the solidity uh, side of things so uh, we do have a team of three developers um and ben as well for our business uh, side of things and we're always looking i mean if you haven't gathered thus far it's a very community-led uh initiative but you know if there's somebody in the chat or listening later uh that is interested in the project interested in helping out reach out jump into our discord message me or rob and um yeah let us know what you have in mind we're always looking for people passionate about the project the space um that are looking to help out always always can find help nice uh you know being in the space and, and the way that whale launched um is very grassroots uh, the community made it what it is today and with your project uh it's sort of the same i'm part of your community and i saw uh, that maybe i can help so i reached out to you and i said hey you want to come to our community and kind of explain it so it is very very grassroots or you know exactly what you described uh, it's, it's, it's happening, right? Like if I can help kind of, uh, blast it to a bunch of people that, uh, might be interested, artists, NFT game makers, or just developers or whatever. Um, I encourage everyone to do that. Uh, not just in your project, but in the NF NFT space in general. Um, Ben, so on the business side of things, uh, are, you know, what, what kind of companies are you reaching out to? Uh, who who would you most like to partner with if that's not too much of a forward question or or just to sh you know put it out there like what what are you most excited about seeing or who yeah. who are you most excited about working with yeah well i mean the scope of this thing is quite large so being nft agnostic that means any sort of nft uh would be eligible to add a charge to so 
eventually, I mean, having integrations in with platforms like Rarible or OpenSea, like this is a, a great use case. We're not there yet. Um, any it ultra, also being interest bearing asset agnostic. So like Rob said, we're launching just with Aave, but you know, Compound, CDI, uh, Yearn, YDI, any of these would be possible assets as well. So um, yeah, I mean, the biggest partnerships would be um, what can help us bootstrap initial growth. So helping spread the word about charge particles, what we're doing. Uh, we will have a liquidity mining program that you know and enables you to be able to earn governance tokens by doing different things on the platform and bootstrapping our growth. So anybody that's interested in helping out in those areas is always greatly appreciated. I um, just wanted to add that we also have um, charged the social token, charged social tokens, um, and we are still giving those out, especially for people who drive community growth and marketing efforts, stuff like that. Um, so by collecting charge tokens, um, you'll also be eligible for the uh, Genesis airdrop of uh, our community governance token. Awesome. So, you know, people, uh, people, members in this community um, uh, have, have done amazing work. So I hope that some people with really brilliant ideas can kind of uh, build on top of, uh, on top of what you're doing or, or help out. Um, I'll, I'll definitely, you know, take a, a further look and see what you guys are up to, um, just to kind of, you know, help help get this off the ground because uh, it's something that the whale community uh, can take advantage of. Um, everyone in the art NFT art space can take advantage of, uh, and just something that I want to see succeed. Um, Excellent. Thank you. I think our communities would do well together. Um, like like you said, like we're most community driven projects um, and nothing better than having two communities become one or, you know, join and join forces. For sure. Um, is there, is there some, 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 something in the works in the pipelines that, that you kind of want to announce? Um, we've got a good, you know, basic understanding now of what the project is. Um, um, let's see what's in the totally future. Open. We're totally open to any people like people's ideas. Just come out. I, could, I don't. I don't know what Ben's ideas are. He may have some some better ideas, but like meme, meme campaigns, just drawing hype, stuff like that. Um, I'm not a marketer. I'm a developer, so I'm going to just be quiet here. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are valid, right? I mean, the the goal is to get people interested in the project and obviously we want people that are here for the long-term prospects and are actually interested in it and not just like a quick flip but um you know the more people that learn about it the more good people will find it yep it is the case uh with social tokens as well uh the community is kind of what drives and grows it um and the more good people involved uh, the better the, the token uh, does and and the people enjoy it, um, and it just that builds that builds a, a nice, good, trusting community. Um, I'm excited about having you guys back. Uh, you know, anytime with like some some developments or you know, letting us know how things are going or, um, yeah, is I mean, it, it's kind of tough to ask for a, a, a timeline, but you know, it, 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 can we expect to see something within two to four months, or is that is that still too optimistic? I don't want to put you on the spot here. In terms of roadmap, I mean, the the product is very close to being able to be released. So whether we, and because we're bootstrapped, you know, what whether we do a an audit or release it as like a very beta version pre-audit uh whether we release it initially with the governance token or without um these are kind of the decisions that we're rolling around with now that determine the actual launch launch date but in terms of ability to be launched uh essentially now so um should be launched in the next month um uh, but but that date we'll we'll announce more when uh, when it's closer. All right. Yeah, tentative, but we definitely want to launch this year. There you go. So the marketing guy says soon. Developer says this year. <laughs> <laughs> so you can deduce. No, no, no. Those are those are very um, solid answers, and another reason why I, I look up to your project a lot because 
um it's not it's not about hype it's about good work um and yeah if 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 there's no i don't see any like too many further questions uh we've got a, a a good solid uh foundation of what the project does um if you guys in the audience are looking for more technical information or exactly how things work or need some support with something or you know want to help these guys build um the discord link i'll post it again so you guys can jump up in there and and get involved and help this thing get off the ground uh because input from everyone kind of makes makes a good product so um yeah uh is there any anything you want to leave us with thanks to the community for hearing us out and thank you for having us well uh yeah yeah um, likewise i mean the the discord link is in there so if you're interested join and ask us how you're you you can help uh love to have you and yeah thanks a lot to you and the community for having us excellent uh yeah this is what we're all about um where we like to showcase uh artists uh established artists new artists new projects established projects just to kind of get the word out and 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 let people know that these wild crazy ideas do become solid uh stable projects in in the space so there's really nothing that is too wild for this space honestly right like uh when crypto kitties came out who who thought that you can stuff a bunch of money in it into it and have it gain more money like now this is possible and it's happening so um there's never there's never a dull moment <laughs> i agree yeah awesome love crypto <laughs> yeah yeah i mean you know we, i've been involved at the same time as you 2017 and it's just i i i don't i don't think anything is is too far-fetched uh you know i'll look into it and be like well that might be too far-fetched but i'll listen <laughs> exactly right <laughs> yeah so all right uh thank you guys uh for coming through sharing um you know massive amounts of info with us opening our minds up to, to different uh avenues uh, thank you for the audience for for listening again and and kind of you know having your ear to the ground when when it comes to things uh, defy NFT and and also social tokens because uh, there's going to be some type of implement uh, implementations there. So yeah, uh, excellent stream, guys. Packed with info. We dropped a bunch of links. Uh, follow and and join um, Charles Particles Discord and, and Twitter and all that to be you know up to date with all the latest news. And yeah. That's that's it for today. <laughs> awesome. Thanks again. We appreciate the uh, time. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was a little bit less than our four hours that it, that I promised, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll break it. We'll, we'll break it up into into three more streams. How about that? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> awesome. awesome.